Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1692, Edward Bishop is jailed for proposing flogging as a cure for witchcraft in Salem, Massachusetts. I guess flogging wasn't good enough. In 1769, Madame du Barry becomes French King Louis XV's official mistress. It's good to be the king. In 1793, U.S. President George Washington attends the opening of Ricketts, the first circus in the United States. In 1823, R.J. Tires patented roller skates and then just rolled out of the office. In 1838, English steamship Sirius docks in New York City after crossing the Atlantic, becoming the first transatlantic steam passenger service. In 1864, the U.S. Congress passes the Coinage Act of 1864, which led to In God We Trust being printed on U.S. coins and eventually bills. In 1876, the Boston Red Caps beat the Philadelphia Athletics 6-5 in the first official National League baseball game. Also in 1876, Tchaikovsky completes his ballet Swan Lake. It remains amazingly popular to this day. In 1884, Thomas Stevens starts the first bike trip around the world. It takes him two years and nine months. The water part must have sucked. In 1889, by federal decree, at noon today, tens of thousands of white settlers were allowed into Indian Territory in what became the Oklahoma Territory. In 1897, the New York City Jewish newspaper Forward begins publishing and still is today. In 1903, the American Powerboat Association is created. In 1906, the Olympic Games began in Athens, Greece. In 1915, during World War I, German forces released chlorine gas, introducing the systematized use of chemical warfare. In 1934, the U.S. Division of Investigation messes up the chance to capture the John Dillinger Gang at the Little Bohemia Lodge in Wisconsin. In 1937, American actor Jack Nicholson is born. In 1943, the Royal Air Force shoots down 14 German transport planes over the Mediterranean Sea. In 1945, Adolf Hitler admits defeat and plans to commit suicide as Soviet troops enter Berlin. Just stop and think for a moment about all of the pain this one man caused the world. Also in 1945, the concentration camp at Sachsenhausen is liberated. In 1951, the U.S. gives General Douglas MacArthur a ticker tape parade in New York City. In 1954, the NBA adopts the 24-second shot clock. In 1963, Lester B. Pearson is sworn in as the 14th Prime Minister of Canada. In 1964, the World's Fair opens at Flushing Meadow, Corona Park, New York. In 1966, the Trogs released their song Wild Thing, and it goes on to top the charts in July. In 1969, the first human eye transplant is performed. In 1970, the first Earth Day is celebrated. In 1972, an 11-year-old boy is killed by a rubber bullet in Belfast, Ireland, and becomes the first person to die from a rubber bullet impact. In 1976, ABC makes Barbara Walters the first female nightly network news anchor in the United States. In 1977, today is the first time fiber optics are used for telephone transmissions. In 1979, the Rolling Stones play two benefit concerts for the Canadian National Institute for the Blind in Ontario starting today. But don't give them too much credit as the concerts were part of Keith Richards' sentence for his Canadian heroin conviction. In 1981, in what is, at that time, the largest U.S. bank robbery in history, over $3.3 million is stolen from the First National Bank of Arizona in Tucson. In 1984, CBS premieres the film Pope John Paul II, starring Albert Finney. In 1988, women are first allowed to compete in the Little 500 Bicycle Race in Indiana. In 1990, Lebanon releases U.S. hostage Robert Polhill after 39 months in captivity. In 1991, an earthquake strikes Costa Rica and Panama, killing 95 people. Also in 1991, Johnny Carson announces he will retire from The Tonight Show next year. 
In 1992, massive gas explosions destroy parts of Guayajara, killing 206 people, injuring 500, and leaving 15,000 more homeless. In 1993, The Who's Tommy opens at the St. James Theater in New York City for 899 performances. Just couldn't quite make it to 900, I guess. Also in 1993, the Holocaust Memorial Museum is dedicated in Washington, D.C. I went there with a Jewish friend once. It was quite an experience. In 1994, the 37th U.S. President, Richard Nixon, passes away. Also in 1994, 7,000 Tutsi people are slaughtered by Hutus at a stadium in Rwanda. In 1997, the Japanese embassy hostage crisis in Peru ends after 126 days. In 1998, Disney's Animal Kingdom opens at Walt Disney World in Orlando. I love that place. Also in 1998, at the 33rd Academy of Country Music Awards, Garth Brooks, Trisha Yearwood, and George Strait win. In 1999, Colombian serial killer Luis Garavito, also known as The Beast, is apprehended. With over 300 victims, he is known as the world's worst serial killer. In 2000, in a pre-dawn raid, federal agents seize six-year-old Elian Gonzalez from his relative's home in Miami, Florida. You definitely want to Google this one. In 2004, two fuel trains collide in North Korea, killing up to 150 people. In 2006, in the worst single-day combat loss for the Canadian Army since the Korean War, four Canadian soldiers are killed in Afghanistan by a roadside bomb planted by Taliban militants. In 2012, TV political comedy Veep, starring Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Anna Chlumsky, premieres on HBO. In 2016, 195 countries signed the Paris Agreement on climate change. In 2018, a Saudi-led airstrike kills more than 20 people in Yemen while they were attending a wedding. Also in 2018, a gunman opens fire at a Waffle House in Nashville, Tennessee, killing four people before James Shaw Jr. wrestled the rifle from the gunman's hands. Way to go, James. In 2019, Marvel film Avengers Endgame, starring Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans, premieres in Los Angeles. In 2020, the country of Sudan bans female genital mutilation and makes it a criminal offense. It is amazing to me that they needed to do this. And lastly, in 2021, India sets a world record for daily COVID-19 cases with 314,835 new cases reported just today. That was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure that you give me a thumbs up and also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I'll talk at you tomorrow.